Hello everyone and welcome to our Behind the Desk series. Today I'll show you how to create a classical circle movement effect for the IVL photons on the Grand MA2 console. So let's dive in. We'll grab our tilts group and create a new effect on the tilt parameter. I will apply the effect to see what I'm doing. Uh, so let's choose a sinus as our form and set it at 30 BPMs. We will also change to, to absolute values for this one, as we want to stay around the specific uh, position of the IVL photon tilts. You also need to keep in mind the fact uh, that you will need to have a small range of high and low values if you want to stay around the similar positions in the IVL photons. And as we aim to create a circular effect around the open positions, we will set the low value at 70 degrees and the high value at 80 degrees. I'll also set my phase uh, of 0 through 360 degrees. And lastly, I need to keep in mind the fact that the IVL photon is a multi-instance fixture. So we have eight tilt instances. And as I'm aiming to create a more circular movement effect, I will need to keep this in mind because I want the tilts to move one after the other. So I will set my group of the effect to eight groups. And there you have it. Now you can see that the fixture is moving in a circular manner. Uh, you can always add some gobo in it, for example. So right now I'm closing the size of my beam a little bit and I'm changing the number of beams. So let's stop at 128 beams. And you can also add some colors if, as well if, if you want. So I'm adding a white magenta color chase, for example. So there you go, there you have it. Uh, don't forget to have fun and be creative. This is the perfect tool to do exactly that. See you all next time.